I am very excited to introduce you to the topic of self-hypnosis because it means that you have made considerable progress since we started this program and are now ready to take the next step. First of all, let me say this. Many people are scared of hypnosis because, well, they watch too many movies that portray this practice as a, a devious attempt to control someone's mind and, and turn them into monsters or beasts. I can assure you that the experience we will explore here is completely harmless. Not only that, but it will make a positive impact on your life. As mentioned previously, I will never teach you anything that can be dangerous to you or others. So what exactly is real hypnosis? I mean, not the kind portrayed in all these scary movies. Simply put, it is a process that enables us to enter a unique state of consciousness and improve communication between our mind and our body. Now, you may be wondering, what is the difference between hypnosis and self-hypnosis? Actually, all hypnosis are self-hypnosis because nobody can hypnotize you against your will or or make you do what you don't want to do. You must be open to it and a willing participant. Another question you might have is about the difference between hypnosis and meditation. There are some similarities between the two. For example, both require total focus and share common techniques like relaxation and uh, visualization exercises, all of which were outlined in previous lessons and should be familiar to you by now. The main difference between the two is the purpose. See, with meditation, you are seeking serenity and calm and, and inner peace. The goal of self-hypnosis, however, is a bit more focused on a specific psychological or behavioral goal, like overcoming phobias and anxiety, quitting smoking, or whatever other habit you want to change. So you're ready to begin? Great, let's go.